Welcome back. The sun is shining on this beautiful Saturday here at Mount Panorama. But as I said, there is some weather forecast. Will it hit us when we get into the top 10 shootout? Who knows? But we're going to take you racing straight away with the Porsche City Index Carrera Cup, the first race of the afternoon. And we have five drivers in here who will be doing V8 and Porsche double duty this weekend. But we've also grabbed a V8 driver to do some commentary duty for us. Jack Perkins has joined Aaron Noonan. Thanks, Matty. This is round six of the All Porsche Championship. A wet qualifying this morning has jumbled the grid, but Craig Baird's taken his 10th career pole in the All Porsche category. He starts on the front row, row with Johnny Reid. Shane Smolens on the second row, Jack. He's an elite class driver, effectively a gentleman driver against surprise. Look for Alex Davison, look for Steve Richards, and your own Bleeker on the Dutchman is the guest driver, two time Porsche Super Cup champ in car 60. He starts back. On the fourth row of the grid, new look for Craig Baird. Different colours. He's in that silver Porsche on pole position. But it's the young Kiwi, Johnny Reid, who makes a stunning start to turn one. Nick Foster's away pretty well, but it's busy in the mid-pack. It is. It's all important run to turn one here. It looks like they've all got through there quite cleanly, which is a bit of a surprise. But Baird leading up the, up the mountain straight for the first time. Championship leader Craig Baird, reigning champ Shane Spolin being swallowed by the fast guys. We're on board with your own bleaker ball and runner up in the 12 hour here at Bathurst earlier on in the year. We'll see him in a fortnight's time. Team with Shane Van Gisbergen at the Armour Gold Coast 600. But Johnny Reid hangs on a second spot. Richards is fourth. Bleaker Mullen next. And this long run up the mountain with these fantastic Carrera Cup cars from here across to the elbow. They're just as fast as a VA. Here they are. The cars are really, really good. They've got a lot of mechanical grip. The biggest difference for the five drivers driving the V8s and the Porsches, you're driving on the left-hand side of the car here. So hopefully none of the guys uh, cause any dramas and missing a few apexes on one side or the other. And out front are all the guys that we'll see. Tomorrow's big race. Back on board with Bleakamon. Putting the pressure on Steve Richards in the laser plumbing and electrical Porsche. Of course, he'll team with Mark Winterbottom in the big race tomorrow. Over the top. Dropping down. This is where these really finely tuned cars. One make series. Everyone's got the same toy to play with, but a few little tweaks here and there can be the difference. Yeah, and that's an awesome bit of road down the mountain. As we cross back now, Nick Foster there doing a great job in the Money Choice Porsche. Interesting this morning, the qualifying session was wet and dry, a combination of wet tyres and slick tyres, and it was a really difficult session, but Berto managed to grab pole right at the end on slick tyres. Alex Davison there, a quick shot of the Toledo Tools back. Number seven Porsche, he's charging through the field. Sound awesome news, don't they? How good is it to have your own Bleaker Mullen in this field? He's a world-class driver, and it's going to be great to see him try and get back up and get on the tail of Bairdo. And he's a guest driver. He's not scoring points. This is a drama, though, down at the chase. That's Troy Wilson in his debut in Carrera Cup. He's a former West Coast Eagle AFL player who's having his first start in Carrera Cup. First start at Bathurst there in the number 20 car. But I don't think he kicked a goal there. No, and I think Daniel Gaunt was involved in the Wilson's, Wilson car. As we cross back to uh, Alex Davison passing Jane Smolin there into turn one. A little bit of dirt on the exit. It's not too uncommon here, Noons. You need to use all the road and a bit more. And Alex is the only man to win two Carrera Cup rounds here at Bathurst. Replay of the start. Reid was gone. He was blitzing down to turn one. Look at this. Richards lunging Smolin. And there's a little tap there from Wilson with... I think it was Tony Bates around the outside. This is at the chase. And Wilson looks like he's done that one all by himself. And he's oh, going to come back out no. of the track in front of the other cars. That's unlucky for Dan. A lot of dirt there, as we see now on board. Hard to see what's going on here. Everyone actually did pretty well not to end up, you know, crashing into another car. On board there with Max Twig, who leads the way in the elite class. But look at Ben, he's sprinting. That is one awesome bit of road, Noons. It's nearly 200 kilometres an hour. You can't see the road in front of you. It's just breathtaking stuff over the top of the mountain. We'll see Bairdo team up with Lee Holdsworth in the Irwin Ford. Johnny Reid, he became a dad only a week ago. He and partner Monique had a little daughter, Macy. And so what does dad do? Leaves them at home and comes to Bathurst. The old saying is when you've had kids, you lose two tenths. He was on the front row of the grid. He's running second, so we had to make a decision on whether that's right or wrong. <laughs> we'll see him team up with Michael Patrizzi in the 91 Techno Commodore. In fact, it's his first Bathurst 1000 since 2003, and he didn't even get a drive that day, so it's been nine long years before he gets a crack at the great race tomorrow. Beto's got a bit of a gap here now. Through the, uh, the sector over the top of the mountain, he's pulled over a second to Johnny Reed. So he's got a nice 
nice little buffer. And then the next four cars, this is going to be a great little battle. Johnny Reed driving for Nathan Tinkler, saying, look at all the garbage on the road of the chase. Back with Bleakamon, the Dutchman, two-time champion in 08 and 09 in Porsche Super Cup. Now, that's same cars as here, one mate category produced by Porsche in Germany that follows Formula One right throughout Europe. This is great. Super slow-mo, where we call, we call it the great. There's a great on the outside of the circuit, hence the, the name for that corner, but you just see the loads going through the Michelin tyres. Yeah, we call it the great. Like I said, it's blind over the top there, and all you can see when you pop up over the top is the stormwater drain because this is a public road during the week. Stephen Richards here locking on to the back of Johnny Reed in this fight for second. Baird's got the margin to 2.7 seconds. He's cleared away, but Blinkerman's looking for a move at Griffins. That's a dunk. That's a good move up the inside there. Young Nick Foster saw him come in, eventually just let, let him go because I'm sure Blinkerman's got a bit of pace. He was quickest yesterday in the practice session number two, and it would have been good if uh, the qualifying wasn't interrupted with the bad weather to see who was the absolute quickest on the day. We've had Carrera Cup here for every year that it's been racing. Of course, it went a holiday there for a couple of seasons, but you look back through the names of the Bathurst Carrera Cup round winners and their names that you'll see in the V8 Supercars. Michael Patrizzi won the round last year, Dean Fiore in 08, Alex Davison, a two-time round winner, Fabian Coulthard in 2005, Dave Reynolds in 2006, and of course, the inaugural round in 03, won by a young emerging New Zealander called Jim Richards, who has tended to go pretty well. We'll see Jim in action later in the day in touring car masters, but this is the footwell your own blinker on left hand drive Carrera Cup car blipping the throttle but using the clutch too. Yeah, interesting to see his right foot braking. A lot of the European drivers use their left foot on the brake and right foot, as you see, left foot's come right off and he's just relaxing down this long straightaway. It's a good chance to relax the muscles and think about this. Uh, the Caltex chase here is the fastest corner in the country. And I tell you what, you've got to make sure the seatbelts are tight and hang on through here. Feels good to say Caltex chase again. Could you believe it's the 25th anniversary that this part of the road was created back in 87 and now hard on the brakes, switch it down keep on the fight, keep chasing down Steve Richards. But Bleakamon, he's a star. He drove a Mercedes-Benz here in the 12 hour with Tim Slade and they finished runner up to the mighty Audi squad, but he's right in touch with the local stars of Carrera Cup. But here's the man they're chasing. Craig Ben leaps away at the mountain. More Porsche racing, just a second. Well, young star Andre Heimgartner has been Running around the mountain here in Carrera Cup. He's 10th on the road, but he's leaving a little bit of debris for the rest of the field. Craig Baird continues to lead the way back at Mount Panorama. 3.2 seconds clear of Johnny Reed, who's just at the fastest second sector of the race. Steve Richards, third. You're on Bleaker Mullen in fourth. Nick Foster, fifth. And leading the elite class, Shane Smolin is ninth overall, Jack. But catch Craig Baird if you can at your peril. Beto's doing a great job, you know, he, he is the, the top top shelf driver here in this Porsche category, does a superb job and he's, you know, re renowned around the world for being one of the, the best Porsche drivers there is, but it's an interesting race, the guys in the top four are absolutely flat out, they're trading faster sectors every lap of the race and that's 10 tenths racing, that's hard. Daniel Gaunt next through in the, the blue, sorry, the black and green Porsche, the Wilson security car, he's eighth, he'll share with Carl Reinler in the big race tomorrow, there's Shane Smolin, Andre Heimgartner, I think he's been given a meatball flag for that trailing rear bumper. Tony Bates next from Max Twig, who's the elite class leader in the championship, but uncharacteristically is not leading the way in this race. He's third in the class. We, as we jump back aboard the tyre plus Michelin Porsche of your own Bleaker Mold, he's chasing Stephen Richards. Let's just turn this up, have a listen to the best Porsche Carrera Cup driver that you could just about find anywhere in the world on the best track in this part of the country.
nothing in it at the front. That time around, Baird 11 0, Reed 11 1, Richards 11 2, Bleaker Bowen 11 2. That was really great. Did you, did you notice through the chase? Lift. Not flat like in the V8 supercar. These cars are really stiff in their suspension settings. And talking to Johnny Reed yesterday, he said, you get in the V8 supercar, it's easy, it's no problem. In the Porsche, no, nah, can't do it. No, you can't. It's great to follow. You're on there for that whole lap as he has a bit of a look on the inside of Stephen Richards. Can't do it. But you hear the cars on the top of the crest of the mountains down the straight. It gets no. like, oh. And Pedersen, the young Kiwi, unloads Nick Foster. Alex Davison does make it through. Interesting to know who was at fault there, Noons. The move was probably on, but whether or not he was far enough up the inside of Nick, we've we'll, we'll yet to know. But uh, a little bit of damage there on the front of Nick's uh, money choice Porsche. Let's have a look again. This is Ant Pedersen, the young Kiwi, who is making his career a cup debut. What's your take? It's a tough one. It's a tough, a tough angle to see, you know. Ant Pedersen looked like he was a fair way up the inside, but it's tough, you know. You get to that corner, here's a better shot. He was, he was a line ball. I'm glad I'm not a steward right now, Nerns. I'm sure it'll be looked at post-race with driving standards advisor Cam McConville for the Carrera Cup Series, but they've managed to at least continue on Foster back to P9. It's a great little race here between these three guys. They're all professional drivers. We've got Johnny Reed from New Zealand, Richo, as we know, uh, well-credentialed V8 supercar driver, and your own Bleaker Mullen here. They're all even cars, Noons. They're all very much the same equipment. So when everyone's doing the same lap time, it's very, very difficult to be able to really, you know, put a, a massive passing manoeuvre on anyone. But we see your own's got a good run here. He'll be eyeing him off down the, the left-hand side here. Not quite close enough as he wriggles around through the bumps through the chase. Just love listening to these things. They just sound so good. And Porsche have produced these cars for Carrera Cup Series right around the world and as well. The Porsche Super Cup that I mentioned earlier, that Bleaker Mullins a two-time champion in. They are just a perfect race car. <laughs> just anything that Porsche does, they do it well. Comes with a price tag too, Noon. <laughs> true. But I tell you what, watching the inboard footage as well, it's, it's interesting to note the gear change points and a lot of those features of the cars aren't too dissimilar to a V8 supercar. Obviously, the lap times are fairly similar. You know, the quickest lap of the race has been at 2 minutes 10.7. Tomorrow in the Bathurst 1000, the cars will be lapping in the low 2 minute 10 bracket early on in the day. So very interesting to see, it very similar. Just heard from race control that we'll get one lap less than expected for this one. So we are now on the last lap. Just quickly, how's things at Fujitsu Racing, the 33 Commodore? You ended up qualifying the car yesterday. Didn't quite, quite go the way that you planned. No, it was interesting. I wasn't actually prepared for qualifying. Normally the, the, the full-time drivers do it about half an hour before qualifying. Gary Rogers asked me to qualify the car. I was the only co-driver in the field to do so. And unfortunately, I just wasn't prepared to uh, put the car on the limit and, and take it to that next level. Obviously, my first qualifying session all season. But look, we've been really strong all weekend. The cars are genuinely top 15. Um, uh, 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 Alex has been doing a great job. You know, first time to the mountain. He reckons this track's as good as Le Mans and Nor Norschleif in Germany. So it's good to see uh, he and him enjoying it. But we'll be right tomorrow. Long day. We're confident, you know, that the team does a superb job. Gary and the boys uh, have always done a tremendous job at Bathurst, so we can't wait to get into it. How's your French going now? Uh, I've, I've tidied up a few things. I've actually picked up a couple of words we wouldn't repeat on television as well, <laughs> but it's good fun. Replay here of Troy Wilson getting down the inside on Max Twig with a touch, and they all managed to get away. I was waiting for two cars to be facing in the opposite direction, but I don't think we've ever had a guy who's led, led the West Coast Eagles goal-kicking list in a race at Bathurst, but we have now. History's made. It's good to see the guys like that. They've got a passion in motor racing. They're out here racing around the Porsche Bathurst. It's pretty cool. How's this guy, though? Craig Baird. He is the dominator when it comes to Carrera Cup. He's on target through Caltech's chase for the final time. We'll see the Carrera Cup cars again tomorrow as a curtain raiser before the Super Cheap Auto Bathurst 1000. But Craig Baird will pick up race win number six of 2012 and the 44th of his Australian Carrera Cup career. New look, same result, Craig Baird picks up, race one the mountain, Johnny Reed went hunting, he got the margin back to 1.9 seconds, but the top four in a class of their own. Absolutely, it's going to be great to watch tomorrow's race now, the top four will be starting in their finishing positions, and it should be a great race, but well done by this man, Craig Baird, he's proven yet again to be one of the top four strollers we've got. Extends his lead in the championship too, great job from Shane Smolin, he picks up the elite class from Tony Bates, Max Twig and Troy Wilson ran out the top.